Hello, it is Mr. Cucumber, and uh, before we start, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed. I'm currently at 93 subscribers at the time of making this video, so almost um, those three digits, which is great. So thanks everyone who subscribed. Um, if you'd have any like, if you have any questions or suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. I, I read every single comment on every single one of my videos. Um, so yeah. But anyway. This gameplay is a 59 and no, sorry, 57 and 9 gameplay um, using the FAL with Target Finder and Quick Draw on slums. Now, the FAL with Target Finder and Quick Draw is probably my favorite gun setup in the game. The FAL is a long range weapon, so equipping the Target Finder is going to assist you at noticing those people out to long range or even a mid, a mid range. Uh, and quick draw, I just put it on pretty much every single assault rifles. Um, just because I like to have snappy aiming that can lock onto people um, a lot quicker. So yeah, that's that's the gun setup. And, and also, um, the iron sights are really bad, so you're gonna need to put an optic on it anyway. I quite like the um, the reflex sight, and I actually managed to get the predator reticule using pretty much only this weapon. Um, but I I find that you know because giving that this is a a long range purpose weapon I find that the target finder is generally a bit better and the ACOG isn't really that good because the zoom level is just way too high and the the sight itself pretty much just takes up three quarters of the screen so yeah FAL quick draw target finder I don't really use target finder on any other weapon other than other than this one, and maybe eventually the the SMR when I start keep when I start using it, because um, I'm actually going for the uh, the diamond assault rifles at the moment. Um, at the time of making this video, I've actually got the M27, the um, MTAR, the FAL, and the AN94 um, in in gold. So I've only I've only got a, a few left really. Well, I'm about halfway really. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm playing on domination, and uh, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning, I was rushing a bit, you know, capturing your flags. But when I was starting to go on my streak, I was, I decided to play a bit more defensively. So yeah, uh, I get my stealth chopper right there. But uh, don't worry, I, I do get eventually get the the Vito warship and the ruthless medal later on in this in this gameplay. It was actually my my first ruthless medal. Uh, I got this this gameplay uh, like a few weeks ago. And I've actually got three Rufus medals now. Um, I don't get that many, just simply because of uh, the the skill based match ma matchmaking. So it's pretty rare really to get in, in good lobbies unless unless um unless you uh you do something called uh, reverse boosting, where you for a few games you just kill yourself um, repeatedly to lower your score per minute, and that basically leads to um, the game thinking you're a bad player and putting you against players who are also quite bad and a few commentators, this is actually quite sad, a few commentators do that just to get a good gameplay so I, I don't I don't really, I, actually I see the point but I don't I don't know why you would do that you know it's just, I, don't, I think it's kind of sad but anyway yeah but for average players like me it's a lot harder to do well in this game because um, players who are the same level as you are pretty much going to think the same way as you. So sometimes I go in games and I find people are using the same uh, flank routes as me. So I do occasionally get into good lobbies, but nothing like a, nothing like the previous Call of Duty games, really. Because previous Call of Duty games, it was pretty much almost luck, really, whether you get in a good lobby or a bad lobby. But this game is pretty much an average of the two. It's either a, 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 it's sometimes it's it's a slightly bad lobby, but not like a really really bad lobby, and slight sometimes it's a slightly better than than your level kind of lobby. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And it, I think I th I find that actually pretty annoying because sometimes, you know, like dying by the same same type of players as you is kind of annoying really. But for the map, um, I find that the best way to play this map is to come on with a with a friend, 
and uh, you sort of go to that statue, um, you know, that, sta that, that monument basically, that stone monument where the statue is, and one of your, uh, like you or one of your friends is looking towards the, where the B flag is, or that little house that everyone likes to cam camp in, and other people, uh, or you, um, or your friend, you go to the, uh, to the other side of it, where, where like, often enemies like to come and flank. If you're not on your, if you're on your own, um, then I know they're really annoying, but you can, I guess you can use bouncing bellies. But yeah, I think playing with a friend is probably the, the best, the best possible, the best thing to do. So yeah, I, that, that's pretty much a bit of so what I was doing in this gameplay, although, although I was playing a little bit more defensively, um, like round, around about now because I was, I was on, on my streak. So I didn't, I didn't want to lose it. I wanted to get the um, the Vito warship because actually in this game I think I get the um, the calling card for the Vito warship. Get fifty kills with it, and I'm I'm trying to do that for um, every single score of streak in the game. I'm trying to get the calling card for them. So uh, at the moment I've got the uh, the Lodestar, the Vito warship, and uh, just this morning actually I got the uh, the swarm, the uh, fifty kills with the swarm calling card, which is which is a great. I've actually permanently unlocked the swarm, so uh, if you want to see a few swarm uh, gameplays, then I'll um, then I'll, I'll happily make a few videos of that, and I actually have a, a good um, score streak set up to get those swarms quite quickly. Uh, I'm not the only person, because um, actually, because I was looking at um, a lot of videos on YouTube, like the best score streaks for swarm, and I actually found one that's, that's pretty effective. Um, I might do a video about that. But there are some other videos on YouTube about it as well, so I, I'm not I'm not sure. But if you if you like to see it, then um, then please leave a, a comment and uh, I'll I, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, that's it. And domination um, is I don't really know really because skill based matchmaking um, I feel it it doesn't really work as well on domination because I, I feel on domination you're pretty much always playing against players who are better than you. I mean, obviously not in this lobby, you know, we, these players weren't terribly good, or maybe they were, but I was just, I was just, you know, in the right place at the right time, or I had the good, the best strategy, really, in the lobby. But yeah, um, Kill Confirmed is good, but um, the thing, the problem with Kill Confirmed is, um, this, the campers, you think Kill Confirmed, oh yeah, there won't be many campers because you have to confirm all the kills, but actually there are, because if you get like a, a kill out to a long range, then you you can pretty much be guaranteed there's going to be at least one player, like, sort of guarding that, that confirm. So yeah, that's the, that's the annoying thing. Uh, I, 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 as you can see, I get my first Ruthless right there. Um, so yeah, that was my first one. And, uh, yeah. There's not really much else I can talk about. Um, Vito Warship, uh, yeah, it's good, but um, it, no, it's good. It's actually better than when it first came out because um, a few people were complaining about it when it first came out. I never actually got got one, but um, some other commentators were saying, "Oh, it's, it's not as good as the Load Star, or whatever." But um, I, they probably buffed it um, because I, I'm doing I do a lot better with the Vito Warship than I do with the Load Star. So I, d I definitely know they they nerfed the Load Star. But whether they they buff the Vito warship to make it better or whatever, I'm I'm not too sure. But it's it's a good score streak nonetheless. The best is definitely um definitely the swarm. Or ooh, actually a lot of people would say the orbital VSAT because uh, a lot of people, including me, um like to use ghost. So pretty much me the, my okay, my worst enemies in this game are. Camping snipers, rushing shotgunners, um, uh, MQ, um, dragon fires, um, hunter killer drones, lightning strikes, and the orbital VSAT. <laughs> that's, those are pretty much my enemies. I, I use the orbital VSAT um, pretty much on uh, as soon as I unlock it. Really, I, I equip it. And uh, next prestige, I'm actually gonna gonna permanently unlock it. So that I'll have, uh, I'll have both the Swarm and the Orbital VSAT effect. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching. 
I'm sorry I didn't upload too many videos in the, the last week or two, but that was primarily due to the fact that I was actually quite busy and I had to, to go and see my family in France. But anyway, you, you don't probably don't care about that. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.